In this video, I will show you how you can convert these boring static images into premium branded elements. So let's create this cache first. Now I already have the illustrator file of this cache right here. And I have also separated the layers already, which I showed you exactly how you can do that in last video. Now let's import this file in After Effects and get started with it. So I have imported the illustrator file of this cache in After Effects with all the separated layers. Now first select the background layer and click over here. Now it will hide all the layers excluding this one. Now let's import our cache photo, our reference image. Just to make it easier to copy the color codes. Let's select all the layers. Now create a null. Link all the cache layers with it. And press R. I just want to rotate it just like this one. So now press P to change the position like this. Let's create this look. Now choose the background layer. Right click on it, go to create and create shape layers from vector layer just like this. Now this illustrator file is not an illustrator file anymore. It's a shape layer of After Effects and we can see this fill option as well here. So just click on it, choose the linear gradient option and press OK. Now open this panel. Now follow my steps very carefully. Choose the white color over here and the white at the end. Choose the pink color here, just like this one, a lighter pink. And same over here as well. Then right at the middle of it, choose this purple color like this. And get these to the end of it. Just like this. Then stretch this line to the end. Now we can just give a little more space to the pink color like this. Yeah. Now let's add a little more darker purple here, just like this. Now it looks better. Now let's edit the inner part, find the layer and unhide it. Right click on it, go to create, then create shape from vector layer. Now again, we need to copy the same procedure here. Just convert it to a radial color. Then place this point at middle of it and stretch it. Now in this one, we need to delete all these colors. Just like this and we can keep the white. Then, then center the pink color. Just like this. Now let's remove the white one as well. Add the purple color over here, which is something like this, then pink and then white. Then change the purple color and make it exact as the reference one. So now we have our look. Unhide another layer. All right, this one. Do the same step. Create, convert it to a shape layer. Then again, go to radial. Now this time, we need to remove the pink color and swap the colors. Just like this. Now we can add pink over here. And make it a little more light like this. And stretch it out just like this now let's unhide another layer and right click create and create shape from vector layers now go to linear gradients now we can play around with these ones separately just like this Now the reason we are able to adjust them separately is that they all are grouped inside this shape layer. Let me show you. Go to content and yes. And here you can see that. So let's finish it up real quick. Now for the dollar sign, we don't really have to convert it to the shape layer. Instead you can apply fill just like this. Yeah. 
or better you can apply layer styles gradient overlay and go to edit gradients choose a lighter color and a darker one simple as that it's done now select the dollar and the circle layer no it's not the circle one this one is now press r on your keyboard change their rotation so now we have our cache ready here now you would have seen this popular light in moon coiners video let me show you how to do it just create an adjustment layer apply light rays and now we have it you can always play around with the intensity radius and animate them with the center keyframes so that's how they create it so now we have our cache ready so let's create the debit card i leave the link of these elements in description so you can get them for free and till now if you find this tutorial helpful and valuable then do subscribe this channel and comment your opinion so i have done the same with the debit card layer already i have separated the layers and imported them in after effects now this one is going to be the easier one so this is our reference image i'm going to use the purple color but i'm not going to pick any color from this one instead of doing purple color i'm going to do orange or maybe green just something else just to show you how easy it is and how exactly you can copy these steps so let's get into it so first of all let's delete the unwanted things such as this one two three four number now i'm gonna hide all these upper elements just for a moment okay now i'm gonna hide all these elements just for a moment because it will be easier for you to see okay so just let me just select all of them now change their color so i could remember them and that's it now select all of them and hide them from the timeline now it's easier to look now select the layer right click go to create then create a shape layer just like this linear gradient and press ok now click over here i'll delete this one and here i will choose a black color now it's a black and white and the location of this color management is at its center now i'll stretch it from start to end just like this and to give a more premium look i'll do from corner to corner just like this now first of all let's change the location of this one i want to give more room to the black color just like this now create a point over here give this one a blue color now in order to give a blue color we need to choose a darker variant first just like this one then i'll place the dark color at the dark side near the black one now make another point copy the same color code of this one then change the location of this one a little bit just a little bit like this and of this one as well Yeah. Now create another one, copy this one's color code and make it lighter like this. Now copy another one and make it extremely light like this. Or to make it more shorter, we can delete this one and keep this one only. And uh, make this one as well a little more lighter. Then give white color more room then press OK, then change these points just like this. Now right click this layer, go to layer styles, go to inner shadow, open the panel, change the blending mode to normal, choose the lighter color like this one, increase the distance, then the size like this. Now change its location, I don't want this one to be at the black side. I just wanted to add more depth over here okay so now we have it now let's unhide our layers which are this this and this yeah oh yeah now we have our card in blue color now in order to change the color of this one we can just apply it this effect called tritone and change the color of it make it red or whatever you like and you will have to open this one in layer styles and it's done you want to make it purple or a darker red you can do that as well just like this you have it now make it a little more lighter in the shadow because it will give a more realistic look like this so now we have our card ready 
Now, I hope you understand how to master this color palette. If you want to learn how to animate them and you want the project files of this episode along many asset packs, then do check out the visual app. I'll leave the link in description. And let me know in comments if you like this tutorial or not.